Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Why Did I Lose? The Prismata series where I analyze viewer games and tell you why I think you lost. Today we're going to watch a game from Emsven vs. Kalento. This game was sent in by Emsven. And I think I've seen this game. I think I saw this on stream. I, uh... I, um... I don't know, like, I remember... Emsven losing a surprising game to Kalento, where it was like a defense grid versus, I want to say, Venge Cannon? Like, one player got a bunch of Venges, and the other one got a defense grid, and somebody won? I'm not sure. And it might not be this game. Actually, this Militia costs $3. The game I'm thinking of, I'm pretty sure happened before the Militia change. Okay. But, like, the, those are kind of... It seems like there's a lot of defense here, right? Like, Doom... Well, is there? Doom Dwell is a lot of soak, and defense grid is quite a bit of absorb. Are those two things together enough? More importantly, can you get defense grid? It's a big blue investment, and you don't really want three. But you could, like, spend one of it on Militia, and then having two after that seems fine. Oh, and plus, there's Ferret Insect, so it's no big deal to get some blue. Um, and Chrono Filter! There's so many ways to have a large amount of blue temporarily. Um... For what it's worth, by the way, like, Thunderhead is also a lot of soak if you can get it at the right time. Um, it's kind of hard. But with such fle flexible tech around, it, it's a thing that could happen. Um, a question to ask is, what is the best attacker in this set? Plasma Fire and Scorch are both very good. Um, Venge Cannon can be good if the, if the set calls for it. You might very well get one Venge here, but I don't think you're going to go, like, Mass Venge. Because you, you might want, like, a lot of green to get Scorches or Thunderheads or Plasma Fires or something. And then, like, a, a single Venge lets you sell back all that green when you're done with it, maybe? But I, I don't think you want Venge to be the mainstay of your attack. You just... With Doomed Wall and Defense Grid, there's too much defense to have a small number of drones. So the question is, is there enough defense to like stand up against plasma fires? I don't know. I'm inclined to think this is a pretty big game. And given that, like Scorch seems very strong actually. It it's sinking effect. Well you don't always buy scorches to sink them, but you know, with Defense Grid and Doomed Wall out there, Scorch sinking will be very powerful. Y since your opponent's absorbing for like six, and maybe more if they have like a Doomed Wall timing out as well, although they shouldn't. They should try very hard not to do that when they have a Defense Grid. But still, like, you know. Would I rather have six Scorches or six Tarsiers? Especially against the Defense Grid, I'd rather have six Scorches to attack for 18 every three turns than for six every turn. Um, Thunderhead is kind of interesting against Scorches. You could maybe get it like at a time when it lives for two turns. I don't know. Um, I mean, so is it... A question worth asking is... Is it possible for an opponent to get only stuff that sinks with Scorches as their attackers? Right? They could, let's say, let's say 10 Scorches. Suppose an opponent could churn out 10 Scorches. Would that be enough, or would they need even more? Well, I mean, 
30 damage once isn't going to kill a defense grid player, right? If they have to get a couple walls early, it's a little uncomfortable. But that's like, that's like 10. I'm trying to figure out, is it possible for opponent to have only synced attack, in which case a defense grid is, like, very bad. It seems sort of hard, but not impossible for opponent to do that. So maybe we don't want the defense grid. Maybe we just want to be the red player who, like, uses ferret and sack and conduit. Or maybe chrono filter and conduit? I don't know. To get some of the, like, the pressure attackers, like Scorch, Plasma, and, like, lay down Avenge one day. Maybe get a Thunderhead one day, but mostly Scorches. I kind of want to try that. And I think a turn three Animus is about right for that, not turn two. I suppose Masterbot, as player two, ought to go DA if I think that's the right plan. No, he should go DDC into DA, right, because he wants Scorches. So I'm kind of building, like... Ugh. So this is, the like, a kind of plausible player one line for Scorches in general, and, like, you get an Animus, and then you get two Scorches, and uh, a second Conduit. But I think this is just too fast for this set. Um... A player with, like, access to blue will just, like, sort of laugh it off, build a few walls, and then plasmify you. So, I don't think we want to do that. I think we want a bit slower approach. Okay. So he's, he's gonna aim for a lot of drones, which really is only defensible if you think, like, Doomed Wall and Defense Grid are good. So, my job is to make that not be the case with plenty of Scorches. Um, worth noting, I could get a Chrono at this point instead of the Animus and get like one Scorch if I wanted for some reason. I don't think that's a thing I want. What? I think I'm okay with getting a Rhino, right? Well, I don't really want a Chrono Filter. I just kind of want, like, a wall, right? Masterbot's doing some weird stuff. I think I'll get a Blast Forge, and Militias will be my complementary attacker. Like, I'll, I'll spend... Like, I, I can always... Militias and Scorches sort of sync up well, right? They're not great, but they're something to spend blue on when I don't really necessarily need... I don't want to buy, like, Splitters. And I think Militias should be better than that. So, I don't predict that a real game would go this way, but last time Masterbot surprised me, I lost, right? What an embarrassing game that one was, if you guys remember it. Uh, Doomed Wall should be fine here, I think. Opponent's attacking for at least three every turn, and so the question is just like, are they going to be able to attack for less than six on the Doomed Wall timing out turn? Maybe? I don't think Masterbot will spot that play, but I should be prepared as if it, I were playing against a human. Even if they could, they'd be denying me at most, what, four value? And I'll have gotten at least three value from the Doomed Wall Absorb over those several turns. So if opponent never builds any more attackers, this Doomed Wall will be bad. But in that case, like, I'm reasonably happy anyway, right? So I'll go for this.
Yeah, and now, like, the amount they're attacking for. Okay, so hang on. Like, I don't actually know how much of my stuff to click here. All three of these are, like, question marks. Um, I think I either click all of them or none of them. Or, sorry, I attack with all of them or none of them, right? There's no, like, weird click scorch hold rhino play or something like that. Yeah, so I can do this and attack for zero. And then next turn I'm attacking for, like, 11. And I get a dollar. And Or I can do this. Kill off three NGs. Yeah, I think this is better. I'm not even sure I need the NG since I'll be absorbing like seven or something next turn. Oh, Masterbot gets a free es exploit, by the way, clicking uh, the militia. Well done there. So that's one reason, I guess, to get NGs is to deny the militia values in future. Would I rather have? Well, hang on. This Rhino, this Scorch Click deals two damage, so right, it kills a force field. So it's better than clicking a Scorch against a wall, which typically is like about neutral, and you could go either way on it. Um, the second one just kills a wall, and that's good. Like. The opponent's being exploited by this anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely want to attack with the Scorches. It's just a question of would I rather have the Rhino Charge or a dollar? I'd rather have the Rhino Charge, but I'd also rather, like, have the Rhino ready to start defending. So I'm going to cash it in for a dollar instead. Kind of a crappy Rhino, but he did a good job of absorbing for a while. Nine scorches. Well, we better get some more, some some other source of attack. Uh, I believe holding is better here. If I click these two, I just kill force field ng, which is like kind of meh. Well, I can kill force field and two ngs. That's four health. Or I can get a dollar and have my Scorches still ready next turn. Well, next turn I'm not going to want to click them because this Doomed Wall will be timing out. So I think I, I don't want to delay these for two turns just to like get some slight value, right? Um... Yeah, this whole, like, Scorch synchronizing thing is not really happening the way I imagined that it would. I'm getting Scorches, but I'm just clicking them every turn, so the value is kind of minimal. Um, and now, like, I could click three Scorches to kill a wall, right? Clearly an atrocious deal. Oh, click three Scorches and pay a dollar to kill a wall. So we're not doing that. Let's just get all a whole bunch of Scorches synced up here. Sell back the green. And this is game over. He gave up, but as you can see, it's 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 clearly over, right? We have everything. All right, so again, I don't think this is how the game would have gone with Emsven, and I don't really know if this was the right approach at all. But it just seemed like the, the big defensive stuff was going to have some issues. Let me just make sure I have the replay code in my... I always worry, like, I'm going to paste a password in here or something. Not that I, like, regularly have my passwords in my copy-paste buffer, but who knows what could happen. All right, Emsven versus Kalento. Here we go. Two very strong players. Both 
Choosing an excellent opening. DD. That's interesting. M7 undid something in the middle there. Yeah. Yeah. So you can you can actually if you listen carefully. Right? Listen. So this is what it sounds like to go DD. You just hear the drone sound twice, right? But if you listen, there's like the two drone sound and the undo sound. Which is how I knew to go back. Kind of interesting. Anyway, so he decides against the NG. Kalento grabs a conduit. Conduit. Yep, the players are mirroring Scorches. So Emsven's going with what I tried. And Kalento's going with the natural player two Scorches. Seems reasonable so far. Second conduit, mirror Scorches. Three conduits. No. Okay, all pretty normal. The game has diverged now, of course, because Masterbot had made me buy a Rhino with this Scorch. But so far, I'm I'm pretty happy with everything. Right? I don't think you should be switching to blue when your opponent goes Scorches, so... Just ensuring you can continue to buy Scorches seems good to me. Grab a Blast Forge. Yeah, I mean, walls are good. Although... A regular wall isn't going to be enough to defend the Scorches next turn. And a doomed wall sort of has exploitability problems? So I wonder what the plan is. Build wall rhino, maybe? The rhino, like, gambits against the Scorch clicks, which are meh in terms of value. Um, and threatens some more attack to go with your own Scorches. So like Wall Rhino Scorch is a play I could imagine happening here. Doomed Wall is also probably not the end of the world, right? But opponent will hold the two Scorches against a Doomed Wall. And then it's kind of like a lifespan two doomed wall, which is already getting a little bit close to getting exploited. I don't know. I might cut this this last drone for a second NG so that I can build a wall more comfortably. We'll see. He gets the doomed wall though. Of course, Kalento holds the Scorches, as predicted. Um, worth noting, I think I liked this Militia play, actually. Um, if you're holding the Scorches anyway, you kind of have one available as, a, as an Absorber if you need it. Um, and Scorch Health is not likely to be worth that much this game, I wouldn't think. So, like, the two ab absorb you get from a wall is about the same as the two absorb you would get on a Scorch, but it lets you squeeze out a Militia, right? Maybe you just, like, if you hold the Scorches, you predict opponent won't click these Scorches, and then when there's 12 attack arriving, you want to have a wall around so you don't get murdered by it. Maybe that's the idea. Yeah, and Emsven holds the Scorches since there's a wall around, okay. Yeah, I see. So, without having built this wall last turn, it would be rather difficult to defend. Whereas now, we can get, like, Doomed Wall Force Field, and it's sort of okay. Well, sure. You have to hold the drone because you want to keep buying Scorches. Makes sense. Did I look at Emsven's last turn? Is he just buying too many Doomed Walls, basically? Like... The sort of rule of thumb that I learned about when to click Scorches and when to hold them is...
A scorch that you click every time you can is worth three attack on app three attack per three turns, which is one attack on average. And so shifting a scorch back by a turn by holding it is kind of costing yourself one damage. It's as if for this one turn you didn't have a scorch. And so holding a scorch to deny one absorb value is like roughly neutral value. Likewise, holding two scorches to deny two absorb value is roughly neutral value. Um, there are plenty of like calculations you can do around that, but that's kind of like a rough baseline I like to use when deciding how good it is to click a scorch. Um, and I'm asking this because I bet that Kalinto is going to hold all four scorches next turn. And I'm sorry, yeah, all four scorches, right. And maybe even hold six scorches the turn after that, believe it or not, if M Sven keeps getting doomed walls. Because, like, this turn, obviously you don't click. Well, what turn is that? This turn, you obviously don't click two scorches to deal three damage. That's no good. All right, sorry, against three absorb. And this, this next turn, I predict, as I said, that he's going to hold all four Scorches. Because it's giving opponent three Absorb, which, like, okay, it sounds like it's good to click Scorches, right? But it's, it's worse than that, because it also lets them get rid of this Doomed Wall, which is sort of becoming a liability. And next, if we don't click these, next turn, opponent will have seven Absorb. And holding back seven scor six Scorches will be, like, good against that, right? So I think Kalento is not going to click any Scorches until he has eight of them. And M. Sven's Doomed Walls will be in bad, bad shape. Maybe even ten, I don't know. A lot of Scorches is what I'm saying. And that's why I'm worried about these Doomed Walls and why I would have earlier grabbed an NG early to, make, to get a regular wall. It would just give opponent less opportunity and less reward for syncing up his Scorches. Uh, okay, so anyway, we were on this turn. Got another Doomed Wall. Okay. I wonder if you might try just getting a wall, though. Like, five. A wall doesn't defend the Scorches. Right? If opponent threatens 12, Wall Doomed Wall is 6, and these NGs are 7. So we would be defending for exactly 12 without losing the Scorch, but maybe it's okay to Gambit a Scorch, actually. I think it still would be fine for this to be a wall, honestly. You Gambit a, like, a Scorch, but you're holding the Scorch, so you can even absorb on it if you want. And so, like, it's a Gambit that you're... You have a lot of ways to cash in on. You can soak with it if, like, you have to and you really want the absorb. Although I don't think you will, because this Doomed Wall is going to be a liability by then. But you can, like, if opponent swings, you can absorb onto Scorch and you have a big push coming back. I don't know. That might be a bit much. But I'm just very uncomfortable with building a second Doomed Wall right now. It's just making it too strong for opponent to not attack. Okay, well, he attacked. So, interesting. I would I would rather hold them. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess I don't know, man. This Doomed Wall just makes me really nervous. And clicking the Scorches gets slightly good value now, but it takes away an opportunity for a particularly good value. Well, no. This Doomed Wall here is still going to be a liability soonish. So it's maybe not such a big deal to give this Doomed Wall value. I'm not sure. Another conduit, huh? Both players fresh out of Scorches, so you gotta do something else. Where are we going with this conduit? I 
I mean... I guess since Venge Cannon is in the set, you won't be sad to have a Conduit. But you could get the Venge Cannon soon anyway by just, like, not getting a Conduit. And, like, I don't know, get a Forge instead. You could build more walls and doomed walls or something. Or splitters. Um... So I think that this conduit is not, like, Emsven's not planning Venge next turn. He's aiming for one of the big green buys. Like, he wants a Plasma Fire before the Venge, or he wants to get a Thunderhead somehow. Ah. Yeah, there's no way opponents clicking Scorches here, I don't think. It would just let us lose Doomed Wall onto Wall. Right, clicking two Scorches gives us two Absorb and also solves a problem we have two turns from now. So opponent's going to hold the Scorches here, and then once we're absorbing for six, they'll hold the Scorches again. And then suddenly the Scorches are all synced. And opponent can attack for 30 all at once. Whereas our Scorches are sort of like, I don't know, I guess maybe we can sync them up into the next wave if we hold two, hold four, swing. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Yeah, I was thinking about Ferret and Sacks as a way to like, turn the red that you have into something else because you don't want the red anymore. <laughs> it's going to be tough to spend all this blue, but actually, no, with militias it won't be, huh? And it's this green can be spent on Venges someday. Yeah, I like Ferret and Sax. And given that they're there, I don't think you needed this third conduit. But we'll see. We'll see what this fans up to. Plasma fire, yeah. But buying a plasma fire on a turn when opponent is absorbing for seven seems pretty sketchy, isn't it? Like, you kind of want to hold your scorches because you only have four of them. And buying the plasma fire sort of obligates you to click them. Yeah, and here comes the big old 30. Okay, and we're just basically resigning, like... Or, no, we're hoping that the counter swing somehow wins. We held all the Scorches. But we have to lose a Scorch or the, the, the Plasma Fire. Plus a shitload of drones. Yeah. Although this, oh yeah, and a Rhino. So this actually defends, right? Kalento is now defended. We can only keep alive nine health, 10 health, plus what we absorb on. So the most damage we could possibly have is absorb on Plasma, lose one Scorch, and a Rhino, and that's four less. So this is, this is defended. Um, just barely. Uh, therefore, like, we're gonna be in very bad shape. Therefore, Emsvent resigned. So... The play... The first play that I disagreed with was this Doomed Wall. And... It... I don't think we can say that this Doomed Wall led directly to defeat, but the way we were defeated was closely related to the problems that this Doomed Wall had, right? Opponent got a lot more value for holding Scorches, managed to sync up Scorches sooner than we did, and got better value from holding Scorches. Kalento slapping down this Ordinary Wall, um, 
had a better position to like basically if your opponent's not going to attack uh whether you buy wall or doomed wall you would much rather have bought wall right it's two bucks less and it like uh doesn't have lifespan so if this wall is enough to convince M Sven not to attack, you shouldn't buy a Doomed Wall. Likewise, if a wall here would have been enough to convince Kalento not to attack, you would prefer to have gotten a regular wall instead of that Doomed Wall. Uh, and... I guess that... We sort of saw on the next turn, perhaps, why M Sven... No. I was thinking, we perhaps saw why Emsven got at the two Doomed Walls, was that he wouldn't be able to defend unless he had two Doomed Walls here. But that's not true. Um, right? We could we could easily take over from here. And just buy Wall NG instead. Wait. Oh! No, it wasn't the Doomed Wall I disagreed with. It was... The drone, which put you in the position of needing a Doomed Wall, right? I don't remember. I think this was the line, right? Yeah. Now we could just get a wall. And if we want to defend three damage... Sorry, uh, four Scorches is 12 next turn with, let's say, a Doomed Wall. I think it's fine to buy one next turn. Um... Twelve attack. Wall, Doomed Wall is six. Four of these is ten. We need two NGs. So we can't get a drone here either. Kind of a bummer. but So so I'm starting to maybe see why my line is not that great. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, so Kalento, let's say, still does this. I don't know. Maybe there's a reason to do something else. But I, th I think he bought three NGs as well. And so we're not attacking with these, but we click them just to, like, look at what the line would look like. Um, and we get a Doomed Wall. And, like, we're defending. Okay. You know, fine. Actually, like, I don't know. How good is this? It's about net neutral if opponent were actually absorbing the damage, right? But he's not. Yeah, I think I, I think I played Kalento's line differently than it went in the game. I don't think he got these two drones. I think at least two of them were NGs. And honestly, maybe he got a third, because... I'm pretty sure that this wall meant that even clicking two Scorches wasn't gonna kill a... It wasn't gonna make Kalento defend on a Scorch. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Let's go back and look. It was turn 7, right? What? Yeah. He didn't buy drones with the Blast Forge. He bought three NGs with it. Okay. So where was the turn I took over? Here. This, this drone, this last drone was the one I disagreed with. Um, there's Kalento's actual line. We get this. And we needed, let's see, six, ten, two more NGs. A third is probably actually fine because it means we can survive even if opponent builds one extra attacker, like a militia or something. And floating the two bucks isn't going to really do anything that amazing. So now, even clicking all the Scorches doesn't... Like, it's sort of neutral. Uh, because the, the damage is actually getting absorbed by Wall, not a Scorch. Not a huge difference, but a Scorch at one health is a lot more Breach Vulnerable, so... It might have been worth to click two Scorches if we could make opponent absorb on a Scorch to do it. Um... So we get... Whose turn is it? Kalento's turn. Um, he gets two Scorches. Drone? NG? I don't remember. Probably NG, right? Because he wants five... 
11. Yeah, he needs to have 12 defense next turn. We'll try fro floating the two, I don't know. So now, opponent should be clicking, which means we don't really have to defend much more coming up. And at this point, I want to pause and take stock of, like, how does my position now look compared to where Emsven was in the game at the same time? Um, in fact, we'll simplify a bit by letting Kalento attack. Ah, that doesn't simplify. We'll just look at, at the end of turn 8, right? We've got the full 8 Scorches, just like in exactly the same state Emsven had them. We've got 17 drones, and our defense is 7 and G's, Doomed Wall, Wall, right? 17 and 7 are the numbers to keep in mind. And the Doomed Wall's at 3 lifespan, that's something you might forget. 17, 7, okay. Meanwhile, opponent is exactly the same as he was in the game. So let's go back and look at the... Uh, End of Emsven's turn eight is when we assess. We're assessing the position. Seventeen drones, eight scorches, seven engies. Uh, and we have doomed wall, doomed wall instead of having doomed wall wall. So Emsven, by sneaking in that drone on turn six, six, yeah. Getting a drone on turn six where I got an NG. Emsven has arranged on turn eight, that drone's harvested a couple times, and he's managed to get a doomed wall with two lifespan where I had a wall. Which of those is better? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Certainly in the game, the Doomed Wall is better because Kalento obliged by killing it, right? Emsven is up a health compared to the suggestion I, I was proposing and not down anything, right? So that seems like a, 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 a suggestion that would not have improved Emsven's chances to win. Uh... You might argue that Kalento was wrong to click the Scorches against it. I thought during the analysis that, or during the first watch through, that that was actually going to happen, and that then my decision about the wall would be right, but he didn't do that. So, I don't know. It's possible Emsven's line was greedy and offered Kalento a punish that Kalento didn't take, and so the greed was rewarded. Or it's possible that my line was just too conservative and gives up a health for no reason. Not sure. Um, the second decision that I disagree with was this third conduit. I think, like, Plasma Fire seems cool, but... Like, if you look at what happened this turn, it didn't work, right? You couldn't click anything, and so buying the Plasma Fire a turn early was just a real bummer. Um, what do we do if we don't get this conduit? Well, um, probably not just NGs. But you could maybe get, like, you know, drones. Right? Um, yeah, this Doomed Wall is just such a bummer. And I suggested a Doomed Wall at the same time, right? But that's actually the Doomed Wall that got punished. So it's not like my suggestion would have made a difference there. I don't know. Yeah, something something went wrong getting this Plasma Fire. I, I just, like... 
I don't like the conduit. I think we need to find some other attackers to buy here, but a third conduit for a plasma fire is too big an investment. Um, like you had to float red to get it even, which is like not necessarily the end of the world. Um, but it's kind of bad. And I don't know, I'd just rather get like something else. Also, clicking the scorches here is like kind of okay. I guess the problem is they're actually being used to gambit as defenders against the possibility of Kalento clicking four scorches. Yikes. Yeah, that's another problem with this plasma fire is like clicking scorches would be fine right now, but you can't do it because you're so invested in this other stuff. You don't have enough defense. I guess the idea was Emsven wanted to go in for a killing blow with the plasma fire. Um rather than try to defend against the, the upcoming damage. Yeah, I mean, I guess Kalento's first Scorch Wave is coming before Emsven's, right? So maybe it is kind of appealing to try to defend. Sorry, to, to, to say like, well, there's no way I'm defending, better attack. So what do I do here instead of Conduit? Engies? I don't know. This Doomed Wall is somehow, like, I think the main problem. Because... Opponent's Doomed Wall lasted just long enough that... Like, okay, we held Scorches to deny a value, and it died without defending, but it really cost us a lot to do that. We weren't doing this to exploit the Doomed Wall, really. It was just, like, because we couldn't really, like, live otherwise. Um, whereas our Doomed Wall... Opponent didn't really have to give up anything in order to exploit it. So, I don't know, like... It feels very natural to buy a Doomed Wall here on turn 8. Especially because you're not defended without it. Like, you have to lose a Scorch if you just get a wall. But that Doomed Wall kind of led to defeat. I think. I don't know, I mean, I guess we could go look at, like... Let's say we don't get the conduit. What would I do? I, I mean, you could just try NGs. Like, let's, that's, a, that's a simple thing to try. Let's see how good it is, right? Um, and he doesn't oblige us by clicking Scorches, of course. Did he buy a bunch of NGs? Seem reasonable, I don't know. I do think, though, that clicking these two Scorches is fine. It gives the enemy Doomed Wall, like, soak value. But we really... I don't know, do we want to hold four Scorches next turn as well? It's costing us, like, six damage, roughly-ish, to hold Scorches and then hold Scorches. And in exchange, we're killing a Doomed Wall. That doesn't actually seem that great, right? We're, we're, we're making a Doomed Wall not get Soak Value. We're, we're getting four... No, we're not just getting that, right? We're getting four Soak Value, but also denying opponent, like, around five Absorb Value. So it's like nine 
yeah, actually holding the Scorch it seems pretty good. It also means that we're, we can like Gambit against a click here. Like we can, if opponent clicks everything, we can absorb on Scorch. I think Doomed Wall is just giving opponent even more incentive to line stuff up. But he kind of has to click his stuff next turn, right? So a Doomed Wall is going to get value. Maybe you get it anyway. And just Rhinos? Now, opponent can click everything, but it's not that great. It's not that terrible, but it's not that great. Um... We're honestly, like, still holding the Scorches. This Doomed Wall's a little questionable. Maybe just a wall. Is this defended? Yeah. The Rhinos are gambiting. And we still look pretty toast, huh? It's bad, but we didn't have to hold seven drones or whatever. We're gambiting a Scorch. We're gonna have to lose it, but... and all the Rhinos, of course. But we have a big backswing. I think we're still in bad sh Oh, hang on. Why... Well, how did we attack for six? What happened? Oh, I forgot that... yeah, okay. I was just clicking them to calculate how much I was defending. Yeah, alright. Opponent comes in here, right? And these amazing Ferret and Sacks cash in. And... We're the ones who are easily defended, right? I think? Like, this, this looks to me like us breaching opponent and not the other way around. I mean, so first of all, if we absorb on Doomed Wall, it's still a mild breach. But I'd rather absorb on Scorch. And then it's a pretty serious breach. <laughs> I really, really don't want... Um... Yeah, I, I don't want to build a doomed wall that opponent can just get militia value against. The problem is, we just got this big breach and we're still gonna lose. Because opponent's big Scorch Wave hits first. So maybe we're supposed to breach for Scorches here? That just feels highly bad. Maybe we do this and just try to build up enough defense over the coming turns to live? Kinda tough when opponent has all these sick moves. But, you know, he can't build defense. Hmm. Could be okay. These rhinos are going to be pretty, pretty great, though, huh? And it's okay to get a doomed wall now. Although, I guess... Yeah, it's better than a wall. And then just NGs. We could even get Avenge right now, but I think we need Force Fields more than Avenge. I made opponent buy an NG, but I think that saving the money would have been better. We could even click this, maybe, for another NG. No, I'd rather have the blue next turn. It's a more efficient way to get a defense, I think. Um, because now, like, opponent oh, can get a wall, which is pretty good, right? Maybe even a splitter. Militia? Militia's honestly probably better. Okay. 
and then float again for a wall. So now this is the turn we have to live through, and it doesn't look good. <laughs> um, opponent breaches for nine, huh? Eight. Well, actually, nine is fine because they're breaching the one the one health scorch first, anyway. And this just gives them like militia value. I think we're pretty dead, actually. One even gets, I guess, another militia. Eh. Wall. I don't know. Militia's probably better, honestly. Means I should have gotten an NG last turn. Okay. And we get to breach for a lot of Scorches, but the next wave, like, we're not even gonna live to the next wave. Okay, so, still dead. If I try, like, getting more defense instead of getting that Plasma. <sighs> well, you shouldn't have been player one. That was your first mistake. Um, I don't know. I feel like these doomed walls... Like, kind of got punished a bit more than opponents did, but... It's not really clear what to do about it. And opponent just had, you know, opponent bought Scorches half a turn before we did, and then got the big 10 Scorch sink before we did, right? Um, I don't know, maybe you're... Sp I, I, you could cut a drone on turn two to get the first set of Scorches, as I discussed, but I don't think that's winning. And I don't think that going for, like, bigger stuff would be winning either. I think Scorches are the dominant attacker here, and Militia fits well with that. Yeah, I mean, I had a few ideas for different plays, and I really didn't like the third conduit into Plasma, but my alternate suggestion was not really any better. Well... It wasn't no better. It got us into a less losing endgame, but still definitely a losing endgame. I think it was less losing anyway. Yeah, it's just so brutal that he gets to attack first and he has this Ven. Maybe I could have somehow, like, grabbed a Venge in here somewhere? It doesn't seem likely. I needed all these force fields, right? Okay, well, the last thing to try, I suppose, is, look, we breached for drones. What if we breached for Scorches instead? Then maybe his big Scorch swing turn wouldn't be good enough, and we would win somehow. Don't think so, but we'll try it. I know it's like kind of okay. Well, actually, hang on. I might as well get the Doom Wall just like I did in the game, in the first analysis, even though my opponent has one more militia, it's still better. Yeah. I mean... 
letting opponent have that those drones seems pretty dicey. Oh, he should um, buy more of this stuff. Yeah. Now we're up a Scorch, but down four, five, six other attackers and a, drone, a couple drones. So this is clearly dead. Yeah. I don't know. As, as uh, has been the case with a lot of the... Um, the submissions from stronger players, and as you might expect, I don't really have a winning suggestion here. I looked at some alternatives that seemed like maybe they would work, and they don't. Um, maybe you just never get any Doomed Walls, you know? Or you, you get off the Scorch Train a little bit earlier. And say, yeah, I know Scorches are good, but in order to not buy Doomed Walls, I need my green for a Force Field this turn or something, right? Like, you could make this Doomed Wall into a wall following if, if you cut a drone, the way I suggested earlier. Um, although, uh, as we saw in the game, that actually just ends up costing you a dollar. Um, but you could do the same thing here. Make this Doomed Wall into Wall Force Field and cut a Scorch. Doesn't seem great. Uh, but, you know, the Scorches you're buying right on this turn are the ones you're gonna hold for a turn anyway. So maybe it's not so bad, I don't know. That's another line you could analyze. I'm not gonna analyze that now, it's been a bit of a long video. Um, and I'm, I'm through with the uh, submissions from like the very strong players. So hopefully in the next episode, I'll look at a game that I understand how to win. Boy, Prismata looks like it crashed there for a while. Anyway, we're done for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.